after a computer system handling orders for auto parts malfunctioned on Tuesday, forcing the shutdown of 14 assembly plants, Toyota Motor started ramping back operations at its Japan-based facilities on Wednesday. The disruption brought to a stop a system that is at the heart of Toyota's lean manufacturing, a strategy for cutting inventory and maximizing production efficiency that the Japanese manufacturer pioneered and which its rivals have largely copied. However, how did system glitch halt production? A system update caused the outage, according to two persons with knowledge of the situation. Toyota just stated that there was no cyber attack as the cause, without going into further detail as to what went wrong. When one of Toyota's suppliers, Kojima Industries, which provides plastic parts and electronic components, reported that one of its file servers had been attacked with a virus that carried an unidentified threatening message. Toyota was forced to close the same 14 facilities at the same time in February of last year. That hack prompted concerns about the supply chains in Japan's cybersecurity. What effect does the one-day production loss have? The manufacturing of Toyota has been increasing this year, therefore the outage can be more expensive than the 2022 closure. The first growth of this kind in two years, Toyota's domestic output increased by 29% in the first half of this year. From the entry-level Yaris to its most expensive models, including premium Lexus brand cars, Toyota manufactures a comprehensive variety of vehicles in Japan. In the first half of the year, Toyota produced 13,500 automobiles on average every day in Japan, accounting for almost a third of its total output worldwide, according to calculations by Reuters. Daihatsu and Hino Automobiles, which are part of the group, are not included. Based on its financial reporting, it sold vehicles for an average price of $26,384 around the world in the most recent quarter. By using that as a proxy, it would be possible to estimate that $356 million in revenue would result from a full day of output at the 14 plants. Toyota has not stated how it will try to make up for the lost output, or even if it will even try. Toyota, with its Kanban system for informing suppliers of what parts are needed where and when to minimize inventory, is credited with practically inventing modern auto assembly. When Taichi Ono, a Toyota engineer who later became an executive, devised the Kanban system, he was inspired by how Piggly Wiggly, an American supermarket chain, managed its shelf stock. Ono observed this practice while visiting the United States in the 1950s. Kanban is Japanese for signboard, and Ono was also the system's inventor. It has been widely studied and used by the car industry to use Toyota's just-in-time supply of parts and lean production methodology. More than 20 years ago, the Ikanban internet-based system replaced a system of printed cards that governed supplier workflow. Software development is one of the businesses that has adapted Toyota's Kanban approach, which uses straightforward visual indicators to organize workflow. What other issues has Toyota experiencing since its transition of leadership? In April, CEO Koji Sato succeeded Akiota Yoda, who had been chairman of Toyota. Since then, the business has revealed some embarrassing slip-ups even as it seeks to re-evaluate its strategy for electric vehicles and related manufacturing issues with an eye on US EV leader Tesla. In April, Toyota revealed that Daihatsu, a subsidiary, had modified a portion of the door during side collision safety testing for some 88,000 small cars, the most of which were sold under the Toyota name. A mistake in how it built a cloud-based system it uses to track service led the company to claim in May that it had accidentally exposed customer information for more than 2 million Toyota owners on the internet. Other shutdown across the globe, Toyota Indus Motor Company, IMC, has declared yet another round of non-production days, NPDs, due to ongoing operational issues and financial difficulties. A significant participant in Pakistan's auto sector is Indus Motor Company Limited. The firm announced the closure of its car assembler factory, which will occur from August 25 to September 6, 2023, in an official notification to the Pakistan Stock Exchange, PSX. The company cited inventory shortage as the cause. The latest notification also cites the decreased sales as a factor contributing to the decreased demand. 1,368 vehicles were sold by Toyota IMC, which reported a 26% MOM decline in sales. The main cause of the reduction is the significantly bad sales of the Toyota Fortuna and Hilux, 
which dropped by 63% last month. It's not all bad news for Toyota IMC though, as the automaker is about to introduce Pakistan to its first hybrid electric crossover SUV that was locally produced. The Corolla Cross hybrid test vehicle was reportedly sighted in Karachi while wrapped in a black and blue wrap. Despite the fact that Toyota Indus Motor Company IMC, stays mum, rumors from experts in the field indicate that the company has started road testing the crossover hybrid SUV. According to a report from July 2023, the business may introduce the Corolla Cross at a later date. Although Toyota IMC hasn't made a formal statement, the story makes the assumption that the launch will occur in November 2023. The company had previously declared that its manufacturing facility would be shut down for two weeks, from July 21, 2023, until August 3, 2023. The IMC made the decision to shut down yet another unit as a result of major difficulties importing raw materials, which has caused disruptions in its supply chain. The impact of a lack of raw materials is not exclusive to Indus Motors. In recent months, shutdown days have also been experienced by other significant automakers due to similar problems, such Pak Suzuki Motors and Honda cars. Due to a lack of foreign exchange reserves in Pakistan, the automotive sector and other businesses that depend on imported raw materials have been struggling with these issues. As a key player in Pakistan's automotive market, Indus Motors has committed $100 million to the domestic manufacture of hybrid electric vehicles, HEVs. Over 50 component manufacturers have contributed to the value chain by creating parts worth more than Pakistan rupees $250,813,000 every working day, which has helped the company play a key role in the development of the local automotive ecosystem. Despite all of this, the Nikkei has reported that Toyota Motor plans to break its previous record for worldwide car production this year by producing 10.2 million units, marking the first time the company will reach the eight-figure mark. In order to raise production by 30% and nearly 10%, respectively, over the previous year, the automaker has set production goals of around 3.4 million Toyota and Lexus brand vehicles in Japan and 6.8 million units abroad. In order to safeguard jobs in Japan and the distinctive Monazukuri craftsmanship of the nation, Toyota feels it must make at least 3 million cars domestically. The automaker would have achieved that level for the first time in four years. Toyota increased production volume to 5.7 million units over the first seven months of the year, an increase of 12% from the same period last year. The business intends to quicken the pace by producing 900,000 automobiles on average each month from August through December. Toyota sent warnings to its top suppliers on Tuesday informing them of the aim. Toyota set a baseline output target in January of between 9.5 million and 10.6 million vehicles. A precise production goal was stated in the most recent notice to suppliers. If achieved, this would mark the first time that the number of automobiles produced under the Toyota and Lexus brands in a single calendar year exceeded 10 million units. 9.05 million copies, which is the current record, were sold in 2019. The overall output first surpassed 10 million in 2013 when Daihatsu Motor and Hino Motors, both members of the Toyota group, were included. With that being said, what do you think of Toyota? Let us know in the comment section below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.